Well, the city of Ann Arbor is looking to become the first in Michigan to promote something called driving equality. There's a proposal to change how police handle traffic stops with the goal of reducing racial disparities and preventing situations that might escalate. Paula Tutman reports from Ann Arbor where the city council will consider a new ordinance tonight. Felicia Wilbert says she worries about being stopped by police every single day of her life. No matter if you have your insurance right, your tags right, it's just the color of your skin. They just pull you over. Put your seatbelt on. As an author and a road trip warrior who spends hours a day on the road for various meetings, community work, and activities that take her from the west side of the state to the east side of the state on a regular basis, she says she worries the odds are against her. Even if your light is out, they need to just blow the horn and tell you, hey, get the taillight fixed, you know, warning. You know, instead of pulling you over and want to search your car and assume that you're a criminal when you're not. Just because your skin is brown tone doesn't mean that you're a criminal. A broken taillight, an air freshener dangling from the rear view mirror, a cracked windshield, even an expired license tab put in the wrong place or expired for less than two months. These would be examples of traffic stops. The proposed driving equality ordinance would stop if it passes after being introduced by Ann Arbor City Council this evening. These are equipment, largely equipment violations, low level traffic, secondary traffic stops. Ward 1 City Council person Cynthia Harrison says you need only look at the national news and see the basic Department of Justice statistics that show police encounters are likely to be more deadly for minorities with black and brown skin. But what pushed her is what she's heard from some of her own constituents. I'm watching a lot of stuff that I'm seeing officers escalating situations don't need to be escalated. Uh, forcing issues, trying to get hostile. But another individual who's been stopped 46 times pulled out of his vehicle. Uh, you know, this is a small community. People know people. So what 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 happens when you're, you know, you're on the side of your vehicle and your car is being searched? OK, so let's talk about what's not in that proposed ordinance, and that's primary moving violations, running stop signs, stop lights, anything criminal or violent that could po uh, possess an eminent risk to the safety of the public. That's not in there at all. Now, of course, I did reach out to speak to the chief of police here in Ann Arbor. Acting Chief Amy Metzer was not willing to talk on camera. However, I'm told she will be at the meeting tonight. Also spoke to the police union president, Chris Garrett, talked to him. He didn't want to go on camera, but I got to tell you this. He didn't even know that this ordinance was being proposed. So it's being proposed wow. Two public hearings. Interestingly enough, the final vote is going to be July 6th. It happens to be the anniversary of Philando Castile. He was killed in 40 seconds after a traffic stop with a broken headlight in Minnesota. Mm. Such That's important. a coincidence, though. Yeah, important topic. Obviously, it will be interesting to see what happens tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you, Paula.